Gibson of the International Secret Police. After discovering leads in the act of setting a time bomb in their plane, Speed, Clint, and Smiley question the mechanic, and he confesses to being the direct cause of all the trouble they had between New York and the Azores. He also admits being a member of the Octopus Gang, and Clint thinks that he is about to learn the whole mystery of the Atlantean Syndicate, but Leeds has an ace up his sleeve. Fearing the power of the octopus even more than death itself, he drinks poison and dies, laughing at the secret police and saying that others will succeed in stopping them, though he has failed, and that they will never leave their next stop, Madeira, alive. But threats have never stopped the boys yet, and we find them in their giant plane circling the picturesque island of Madeira, preparatory to landing. Going to land in the bay, Clint, or on land? I'm not sure yet, Speed. That's why I'm dragging the island now. I'm flying low so as to see if I can find a level spot ashore to set her down. Mm-hmm. Harder to find than a needle in a haystack, Clint. This island is practically all mountain, rare enough to meet us some 2,000 feet. Golly, guess we can't set down on land then. Don't see an airport anyhow. I think we better land in the bay. By entering Madeira there, the Portuguese port officials will be right on hand. We won't waste any time hunting them up or having them hunt us up. No, sirree. They were swelled us in the Azores, and I'll guarantee they'll make us welcome here. Uh-huh. They've been notified to look out for us. Say, that looks like a sheltered spot ahead there. I think I'll land there and then taxi right up to that float at the side of the pier. Mm-hmm. And keep your eyes open, boy. From what Leeds said, I expect the bay to be full of mine. Oh, I think he was bluffing. Anyhow, the octopus wouldn't dare to try any rough stuff right in front of the Portuguese officials. Then I, for one, am going to stay right under their eyes. <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You're just aching for a real mix-up with the octopus gang, Smiley. Sure am, if they're reasonable and leave their bombs at home. Um, what are you so quiet about, Davis? Haven't said a word hardly since we left the Azores. It's just that I can't get leads out of my mind, Mr. Preston. I'd worked with him so long. He was my friend. Yes, I know. It's hard to take, Davis. But you'll have to be prepared for occurrences like that on this case. The octopus and his gang recognize no code or law. They're completely cold and heartless. And have operators in high places. So we can't be too careful. I realize that. Well, I'm going to land now. Got your safety belts fastened? Right. Okay, then. Here we go. I'll side slip for a quick landing. Smiley, you know what that road is going up to the top of the island? It's like a fire break, only it seems to be made of rocks. Cobblestone speed. That's not a road, it's a slide. A slide? On cobblestones? Not for me. Oh, you just sit in something that looks like a pony cart when you make the descent, only it's on runners. Two men guide it, and believe me, boy, it's a ride of your life. Those stones are slick as grease from long use, and you go so fast you don't breathe from the time you stop to the bottom of the mountain. Golly, I'd like to try that. Hope we have time. Uh Uh-oh, we're landing. There is one of the most fascinating places in the world, Speed, and one of the most picturesque. Someday you should return when you have nothing to do but explore the island and get to know its people. I'd sure like to, Mr. Davis. Boy, look at those fellas in uniforms waiting for us on the float. Well, <laughs> we're here. And all in one piece, yet. <laughs> He's an even worse crepe hanger than Barney, Speed. <laughs> Well, let's pile out and see this comic opera island of Smiley's. Yeah, and let's hope it stays comic. (laughs) (laughs) Well, my friends, you like Madeira, do you not? Oh, boy, do we, Mr. Felipa. 
I'd like to spend a month there, wouldn't you, Clint? Yes, Veed, but thanks to Mr. Felipe's kindness, we crammed a month's sightseeing into just a few hours. In the meantime, you seen to it that our plane is refueled and checked. You've been very kind, oh, sir. It is a pleasure to be of any assistance whatsoever to the International Secret Police, Mr. Barlow. I am only sorry that you cannot remain with us longer than a few hours. Me too, fella, but on our next... You see, our next stop is going to be Africa, where we're going to have to do a lot of work, and maybe we can stop here on our return flight. Oh, huh? I, I hope so. And now, if there is anything else you would like to see... One thing I'd like to do, Mr. Felipe. Yeah, and what is that, Miss Speed? Come down that cobblestone slide from the top of the mountain. Oh, no, no, Speed. We can't take up any more of Mr. Felipe's time for a thing like that. Ah, but he asked me, Mr. Barrow, if you can spare the time. One should not leave Madeira without experiencing the breathtaking exhilaration of that descent. It is the thrill of a lifetime sliding down a cobblestone slide. It gives the same sensation as skiing, they tell me. Mm, but where they ski, it's cold, and here it's hot. I have say. I left my coat and hat in the plane. Uh, you might need it on top of the mountain, Mr. Davis. It is windy and cool. <laughs> That's answered. Thank you. We're really going up there, then? Well, it looks like it's speed. I believe Davis and Smiley are as anxious to make that descent as you. <laughs> but how do we get up there, Mr. Felipe? I, I don't think I'm equal to walking up there in this heat. Oh, no, 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 no. We shall go by ox cart. I think your nephew will like that, no? Ox cart? I'll say... Could I drive it? Ah, to be sure. But don't try to fly it, boy. The road up to the top ain't any too wide, and that ox and the cart are mighty big without you trying any fancy tricks with it. <laughs> don't worry, Smiley. I've never driven an ox before. I'll be careful. Oh, we can use this cut here. I believe it is available. Hey, driver, wake up. Uh, yeah. You wish to drive anywhere? Uh, yes, but my young friend, he will do the driving. You may remain here and continue your sleep. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. You're very kind. You'll trust us with this cart? He wouldn't get very far with it. Remember, you're on an island, boy. <laughs> uh, we all have honest faces, evidently. This will uh, seem a strange transportation after your taxis in America, Speed. <laughs> That's swell, Mr. Felipe. Is everybody in? Wait a minute, boy. I'm half in and half out. <laughs> no smiley would be last. Mm-hmm. I'm polite, and that's that's all, and then he calls me for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we are all in. You take the reins, Speed. Okay. Well, how do you start him going? Well, how do you start a horse in America? Why, get up, I guess. Well, I imagine that word will have the same effect on this big fellow. Well, we'll try it. Get up! Get up there! <laughs> he's talking right back to you, boy. And he's not moving. Do you think he can move with that big yoke on his shoulders like that? Why, well, sure he can move. But you got to know the right word, and I'm the only one who knows him. Oh, as one ox to another, huh? Oh, yeah? <laughs> boy, did I stick my neck out on that one. Wow. <laughs> you sure did, Smiley. But what are your magic words? You really want to know? Oh, come on. Now, stop the questions and answers, Uncle Tom, and we'll be here all day. All right, if you Yankees insist on rushing me, here goes. Get up, you gall darn humpback razorback. Get a going. <laughs> That's a very good. <laughs> so those are your magic words, Smiley. Yes, sir. Right words, right place. He started, didn't he? <laughs> sure did. Probably scared the poor animal to death. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if he ran all the way up the mountain. Do we stay on this road to get up there, Mr. Felipe? Oh, no. We take that to turn off ahead, Speed. Uh -huh. Will it take us long to reach the top? No. Once we begin the ascent, the road becomes very steep, Mr. Barrow. That is why we use oxen here in Madeira. They can stand a long, sustained pull better than any other animal. Uh, but supposing something breaks halfway up. Oh, quiet, Smiley. We're having a good time here in Madeira, in spite of you. And in spite of other things, don't forget what Leeds said. I'm not. But I think for once, Mr. Leeds was wrong. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, it did not take long, did it? I should say not. Hey, it's certainly a lot cooler up here, too. I'm beginning to wish I'd brought my coat after all. Uh-huh, I thought so. You know, Barlow, I don't think that I'll go down that slide with you now that I see what it's like. 
Roller coasters get me, and this is worse than any roller coaster I ever saw. Gee, Mr. Davis, that's too bad after this long ride up here. The view alone is worth the ride, Speed. Well, I remain here to keep Mr. Davis company, and we shall bring the cart down. To... Well, then take my coat and hat, Davis. I won't need them on the descent, and you will if you stay up here. Thanks, Barlow. If you're sure you won't need them. Say, once he starts down, he won't know what he's got on, Davis. <laughs> okay. Guess this is the end of the line. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Speed. And just over there, you see the sled cart, which will carry you to the bottom. Ah, there are the two fellas to handle it. Just like you said, Smiley. Must take a lot of strength to keep the sled in line. Ah, it does, Speed, but we have never had an accident. Now, come, we'll go over to the sled with you, even if we will not go down with you. <laughs> all right. Are you all set, Davis? Yes, yeah, thanks. That coat feels mighty good up here. Boy, what a view. You can almost see to Africa from here on a clear day, Speed. See, I can hardly wait to get there, Smiley. Hold on there one thing at a time. And right now, we're going to do a mess of sliding. Climb in, Speed. Boy, it sure looks steep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Want to stay with me, Speed? No, this is going to be great, Mr. Davis. Here's room beside me, Clint. All right. Three of us in here. So since we won't fall out... Well, I guess we're all ready for the ride of our life, Mr. Felipe. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it, Mr. Barlow. We will meet you at the bottom a little later, huh? What was that? Somebody that was... shooting. Hope they're not aiming at us. We'd make swell targets lined up against the skyline here. Oh, oh, oh. Davis. Oh. Davis is hit. Quick, start the descent. It's the only chance of escape. They said they'd get us. Clint, he's falling. Yeah, I'll bring him down. No, lift him in here. You come too, Felipe. Hey, but it would be suicide too many in this land. We'll have to risk that. It's our only chance. The Octopus gang will murder us all if we stay here. Come on. Here, help me with Davis. I got him. Climb on, Felipe. Oh. I, I am in. Let's go. And pray for a safe landing. 